Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm at the Arboretum this morning, <clears throat> I've been here probably about a dozen times since I lost my, since I shot my last uh, video from here which was very mediocre, the photos that I got as well as the video, uh, but sometimes you get frustrated and you know you'll post anything that comes up. Um, this morning was again looking very promising, it said 100% high cloud. And he also gave me 100% fog, which at the Arboretum in winter time can really look amazing. It just blocks out all the, I should say, the messy scene and kind of makes it, simplifies it into, into kind of giving the viewer the ability to see only what they need to see. Uh, majestic, majestic scenes. Um, Unfortunately, it's not to be, again. Uh, I've been here, as I said, since my, uh, my last video from this place, probably a dozen times, I reckon, a dozen times. And uh, it's not looking promising this morning. The clouds have disappeared. The fog is basically just behind me over there. Uh, and that's it. So nevertheless, sometimes if you stick around, you do end up getting something that was uh that ends up being worthwhile and uh that's actually something from uh, my actually my most recent video Net nethercut falls and nethercut falls i'll put up a link i'll uh, check it out because it was a sunny day you know it, it was really a scouting machine but I ended up getting a nice drone photo and i'll definitely be back there with more favorable conditions to get a more favorable photo but you still end up getting decent shots so uh, nevertheless, I'm going to get stuck into it, show you the scenery and show you my comp and then go from there. Cheerio. So this is the scene and uh, I'm using my 100 to 400 Sony lens. At the moment I'm sitting at, uh, what are we? 100, 100 millimeters. All right, so I'm gonna keep maybe, well, as light as possible, 100. F8, obviously I'm shooting at a, at a quite a distance, so it's it should be fine. I am having to bracket, exposure bracket the, the photos because it's uh, it's quite contrast, the, the, the sky to, to the to the mid ground and the foreground, but the, but everything else, I mean, I'm shutter speed, I'm just choosing whatever shutter speed to uh, get the, the right exposure. Uh, and that's really it. It's simple, as I said, there's not much cloud in the sky. So I'm hoping just before sunrise, we'll get a little bit more, which is in another 11 minutes. Anyway, the comp is there. I've whacked on uh, a polarizer as well as a medium uh, graduate ND filter. All right, so what I'm going to show you now is what my lens is seeing. So the good thing about the 100 to 400 meter millimeter lens is that what you're seeing now is at uh, 100 mils. So if I really want to hone in or zoom in to 400, I can and really get those intimate details from far away, which is ideal when. Uh, Things don't go to plan like today and you get the cloud cover not being where you, where you want it to be or the color or anything so i can wait for the sun to go above the horizon and get some more intimate shots now just to the right of the frame which i'll show you now without ruining my composition which is another great thing is there's a road there i don't know if you can see it with the lens i shot that road and I'll show you a photo now. Uh, a few weeks back, on a, another failed adventure, 
from not the Arboretum, but from a little bit to the left of the Arboretum. So today, I can shoot it from just a slightly different angle, which I think might be even, even better. Anyway, that's option two. So we'll carry on and see what happens. I'll give you a hot tip for today. Uh, then I'll follow it with a, with a fun fact. But the hot tip is always step away from the camera a couple of minutes before the sunrise. Uh, you're guaranteed... Nah, I'm just joking. You're, yeah, that's a silly mistake. But I did it because there was too much in one spot and sometimes you can get married to that one spot. So I thought I'd just do a quick glance around see if there's anything glowing yet or, or anything that, that seems to be more favourable in, in, in nicer light. So far, I think I've picked the best comp that I can see. But fun fact for today. Well... Ancient tribes, uh, also the Huns, I've mentioned them before in my previous videos, as well as the Mongols. Mongols I'm not 100% sure on, but the, the tribes prior to the Mongols, so, you know, AD 400, 500, before and after a little bit. They used to, as well as Romans, used to ride horses without stirrups, so it was quite challenging. But for the nomadic tribes in particular, what was challenging is they were considered, like Scythians, and I mentioned them, they were considered uh, master archers. And the reason their arrows were so accurate was because they shot their arrows when a horse would be in midair. So from I guess you could say from one in between one step and another and they were able to master this they were able to figure this out and master it and really were just devastating to any any civilization any army that that um even had the best of armor purely by bow by and arrow and you know they really were quite devastating to to armies that or maybe two to three times larger than them because they were able to move so quickly and be so deadly accurate. So, interesting fact. Now we head back. It's been a couple of minutes. Nah, not looking too shabby. Could be better, could be worse. So let's check it out. Guys, thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Hopefully, we had some nice, a decent photo out of, out of all this. I hope you stay to the very end. If you have, throw your support by subscribing to the channel. And, uh, you know, as always, check out my, uh, my socials. I always post a little at the bottom. Now that you saw it, you can't say I didn't... Uh, give you a heads up but yeah look if, if you liked it throw me a like subscribe and uh until next time hooroo